get the pole, the quick treat, the house. House came from Tractor Supply. Came with the pole as well. But you pay separate for it. Libby, Libby, Libby! Come on, Libby! All right, and we're about to put the pole up. Here we go. One other thing you have to do is if you shove some bags up in the hole here. Is when, this the bottom or the this top? This is the bottom of the pole. This way when we slide down the pole, it telescopes up and down. When we slide it down, it's got some bags in there to help kind of act as a shock absorber so it doesn't, it doesn't matter, that'll be under the ground anyway. Uh -huh. So it doesn't uh, hit so hard on the concrete base there. It'll just slide and kind of soften the, the fall for it. What does it say you're going? 21 inches deep and 12 inches wide. I'm oh so exact when I measure this thing. Do you want to check if it's the center where you want it? See all those beat the golden rod and stuff out there? All right, how far from the house? Do you want to keep it? Is this where we're going, Mama? This is the woods that's right beside it. Centered to what? Between the two yeah, apple trees. Right. right, post hole digging. The hole. Should have brought my post hole diggers. Frank was going to bring those big metal ones up here and he forgot. He had to go to Memphis again today. Those metal ones are nice because they're heavy. We get that in there farther. How deep are we? About 10. Ooh. Got a ways to go. I got to be 21 deep? Yeah. Okay. Here, take this somewhere. Do I need to go get Frank? No. This could be rock. What is this? What is that? The rock? Yeah, it needs a rock. He's of a pot of some kind. Oh, that's stuff. No that, telling. Uh, this is where you bulldoze down. Uh huh. Yeah. My memo's house used to be up there, up the hill. It's under here. <laughs> now it's down here. Right here. about here. Oops. Look what band-aid didn't hold. Uh oh. Let me get that band-aid we laid out. As long as you don't mind bloody post hole diggers. Okay. I feel like I should sing I'm sexy and I know it. I feel like I should sing I'm digging up holes. I'm digging up holes. Alright, check me. I'm gonna go grabbing my band. We're down. at 14. Two thirds of the way. Seventeen or so. What do we have to get to? 21? 21. This would be a good time to say if you're going to have a, uh, put one of these in, check and make sure you're not going to cross a water line or power line. We did check that before we started today. It goes down there in good ways. A little step you want to make sure you don't miss. And there we are. Woohoo! Here we right, go. Hang on, I gotta be how wide? 12? Yep. 12 wide. I need to widen it up just a little bit. Okay, here you go. Alright, so we gotta widen it up to about 12 inches. Again, this is an about, a, an about sort of thing. If you have a sharpshooter shovel, <laughs> this is when you wanna do this. You use that. Yeah, and he sharpened on my shovel. Who? Oh, Frank? Mm hmm. 
I don't have a narrow one. All I've got is a flat and round. That was well, a chicken a sharp, in the background, right? A sharpshooter shovel is a kind of shovel. Was that a chicken? I don't know. Up there. It sounded like a cat in a blender. It, it sounded like a child screaming. Oh, it's a new day. I walked out the right. edge. Something got a cat out there. Come here. Aww. Oh, yeah. All right, we got it. Here we go. All right, we only need one bag. One bag is for the one we're putting at our house, and this is the one I'm at my mom's house. I think it's going to take more than just this. All right, it only takes one bag, maybe two. Well, it's supposed to take an 80 pound, and these are 60, so. Right, so we'll see. One's supposed to be for my house and one for my mom's house. She's bringing the water. I knew it. That's close enough. That's close enough. We're good. Just don't get it on the bag of concrete. Just spray some down in the hall. Not too much. Let me stop there. Let me stir it around. For a little bit at a time, turn it around, makes it work a little more solid in the bottom. As we have learned the hard way. You get the spray in there. I don't want to get it on that. That's right. Wait a No more water in there. Alright, you kind of have to judge as you go. What you want to do is make a little shelf on the bottom. I don't think I can see that with my camera, but... And that's got to harden up for a little while. And then we'll come out and do the next step. You can kind of see it. Alright, so we'll be back. All right, we've eaten dinner and now we're back out there. Set the pole. Normally I would use my sharpshooter shovel, shovel in here, but she doesn't have one. So I'm just using a little square shovel. And it definitely takes at least an 80 pound bag. Enough? Oh, that's fine. It takes more than 60, but these are 60 pound bags, so. Push forward. Yeah, uh, not at me. <laughs> Did it, Cindy? No, not me. Oh! Hey, did you look at this? No, I did not. This one, honey. Look at that. Does I have a good eyeball? <sighs> I don't know why I just messed it up. <clears throat> you need it down in there deep because, uh, give me some water. That, um, Third house is going to take a lot of wind. So when it's deep, the pole won't wind. That's too much. That's good. And when my birds are in there playing, it holds 12 families. <laughs> now you know, 
I did a little research on these guys, and you have to actually try to draw the Martins in. I read that you're going to have to run around the yard flapping your wings making bird noises. <laughs> we'll see if that's on tape, guys. Not. No. We'll make the granddaughter do it. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to plumb it up a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and put a little more concrete on there because this bag is tearing open anyway. So you're going to leave it like that. And then lock it in the mechanisms as you go up. And that's what you end up with after you get the uh, pole in plumbed up and putting the Martin house on there. I'll go ahead and tell you these things to get the pole mounted. If I can pull this out and show you again, I shouldn't have closed it, but pick inside. What you need to do is open these little doors and make sure you feed that thing through and you have to reach your hand in and push the little clip button to make it go all the way up. This pole goes all the way through. But that's what we got. We're going to leave it down so the wind doesn't blow it around and take it off of its being plumbed there. And the pole went up. Now the Martin, all 12 families can move into the Martin house. But that's it. That's how to put a Martin house up. And we will extend that thing tomorrow or the next day. So thanks for watching. Take care. Hit like, hit subscribe. We appreciate it.